Hey guys, in this video I'm going to introduce you to a good friend of mine, Alan. Alan is a very accomplished helicopter and fixed wing pilot, but he's been on the ground and not flying for several years, much like I was on the ground for several years and not flying. So after a few conversations, conversations that seemed just like the right timing for us to get in the plane and go for a quick spin, and to get Alan back comfortable with the controls. So we jumped in, the airplane departed from Concord, headed toward Pease International Trade Port, which is a uh, public use as well as a military facility on the seacoast of New Hampshire. And then we headed back up to Laconia, which was our which was our final destination. The winds were much gustier um, than we expected, but it was fine. It made for a bumpy ride and a, a pretty rugged approach, but we got on the ground and we recorded most of it for you. So this is longer than most videos that I would normally put on my channel, but I hope you enjoy this and like the video and subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Take care, guys. All right, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Can you maybe put that mic a little closer to you so I can hear you? That better? Yep, loud and clear. Now your uh, intercom volume is here. Yep. And my intercom volume is here. This outer knob is not like the old ones that you're used to with the squelch. This is auto squelching. This is actually for music if we brought music into the cockpit, which we're not doing today. Strobe lights on. Radios are on. Now let's just pull up the chart for Concord so that we have something to look at and not necessarily the chart, the um, airport facilities directory. And there's no tower here, correct? Correct. So what do we, do we look for some oil pressure temperature or we look, I mean not pressure but oil temperature? The oil temp's going to take a bit to come up. Yep. Um, it's pretty low right now obviously. Our cylinder head's very low. Yep. Our oil pressure's in the green. Tanks are both forward. I'm going to start our fuel tank timer right now. I have an automatic timer running. And just so you know, the way I do it is I fly the takeoff on both tanks, and then immediately after we get to either a safe altitude or an altitude that, uh, that makes sense, cruise, we switch to 30 minutes on the left, 30 minutes on the right, 30 minutes on the left, 30 minutes on the right, while monitoring the gauges completely. Okay. Just for your information, the carb temp is right there, so that's based on our conversation and my icing experience right, right. the other day. Let's keep that in our scan. Um, okay. Where's the panic button? Um, it's right here. This one? <laughs> hey, I can, I can, uh, let me see, left, right. Left, yep, right, up, I, down. I got it, I got it. Okay, so now airports, I'm going to go select Concord. Okay, so our CTAF here at Concord is 122.7, we're there. 132.325 is in the standby, but it's also in the standby on this radio. Concord Municipal Airport, Concord, New Hampshire. Automated weather observation, 1528 Zulu. Wind, 320 at 14. Peak gusts, 21. Visibility, 10. Sky condition, uh, scattered, 4,000, niner, 100. Temperature, 0, 3 Celsius. Dew point, minus 0, 6 Celsius. Altimeter, 2, niner, 7, 4. Remarks, density altitude, minus 700. Okay, throttle the 1700 as soon as I get on dry pavement. Is this your RPM? That's a manifold pressure. Manifold. Where's our RPM? Uh, RPM is right here. Oh, okay. Got it. Yep. Prop full forward. Okay. Right mag. I'm going to baseline it again. Wait till it picks up speed. And that shows the drop. Yep, that's 100. good. About 90. That's good. Okay. Carb heat. Yep. Notice the drop. Cycle the prop three times. Rise in manifold pressure. Drop in RPMs. Wait for the recovery. Rise in manifold, drop in RPMs. And finally, we just look at the oil pressure. There should be a tiny little drop in oil pressure when we cycle the prop. Down to idle. Carb heat on for idle limit check. The engine still runs at idle with carb heat on. Carb heat off. Flaps set for takeoff. They're retracted. 
Uh, let's just one, do one more check here. Amp meter. Make sure we're charging the battery. And we are. And I've got a uh, charge meter here as well. Cal flaps full open for takeoff to cool the engine on climb. Mm -mm. Flight instruments all set. Everything looks good. Flight controls final check. We have rudder. Good. I'm ready to go if you are. I am. Oh, man. Concord, uh, TBM 268. Juliet, Juliet, 10 miles to the northeast. Inbound for left down. Runway 35, Concord. In Concord traffic, Skyline 3067 Yankee. Departing runway 35 to the north. Concord traffic. Got some wind over the ground here, and you see on that grass. Yeah, yeah. This will be this will be an easy takeoff. Whoa! Feel that slippage? I do. Man, I don't like that at all. Okay. Beat to the floor. Slow full power. Hello on into the wind. Oh, that's got good acceleration, Josh. A little bumpy, huh? Wow! Concord traffic, TBM 268, Juliet, Juliet, five miles to the northeast, inbound for uh, a midfield left cross, wind runway 35, Concord traffic. Yeah, maybe we'll go land at Laconia, huh? Yeah. All right, I'm going to transition to a cruise climb right now. How am I looking to the right? You're clear to the right. Clear. You're clear. All right, I'm going to uh, head in the easterly direction. So you're familiar with landmarks and stuff like this around, you've been around flying enough to where you... Concord traffic, TBM uh, 268 Juliet Juliet, three miles to the northeast Seven of the miles. airport, inbound for a left crosswind, runway 35, any other traffic in the pattern, please advise. Uh, Skyline 3067 Yankee is uh, on the departure leg, uh, turn out to the east, climbing through uh, 2000 for 3000, um, about a mile and a half north of the field. All right, we got you in sight. Is there anyone else in the traffic pattern? Okay, back to cruise climb. Bring that thing back. Feather the prop a little bit. We're right under these cloud bases, so we're going to be kind of turbulent for a bit. Bring the uh, prop back to 2300 RPM. As soon as we get... Uh... How are you on temp, by the way? Say again? How are you on temperature? Uh, we're... A little warm? Oh, no, the comfort... No, no, I'm fine. Want to head over to the seacoast? We can, you know, wherever you want to go. Let's uh, head over to the seacoast for a few, and, uh, I mean, it's looking pretty freaking, uh... Looks like you got... That's Slimith up there. Yep. Conquer traffic, TBM 268, Julie, Julie, entering a left crosswind for runway, uh, 35. Uh, airport, uh, aircraft Looks like snow. you guys are super quiet. TBM, was that for 67 Yankee? I'm not sure. We haven't been able to hear whoever just landed. You guys have been, uh, you guys are super quiet on the mic. That's not us. I'm going to get around this little, uh... Yeah, this looks like little snow, snow patch. Snow stifters there. Now, what about carb heat? How often are you going to check that? Today? Well, I mean, we're outside the carb freezing temp at the yep. moment, because yep. the yellow is the danger zone yep. on this meter, on this gauge. And dependable? And very dependable. Yep. Um, but when I'm on the line, we're just above the line, but when yep. we're on the line, Conquer I'll cycle it. 268, Julie, Julie, turn, turning short, final runway. 30 five, seconds five, or so every 5 or 10 minutes. Yep. I'm going to level out at 3,000. There's no reason to be much higher. I mean, we could go above this stuff, but it would be a lot calmer. But then if we get in a pickle, we have to file a pop-up IFR flight plan, and I don't want to have to deal with that.
I'm going to lean out a little bit. You want to take the airplane? Sure. You have the flight controls. Okay. Maintain 3,000. Yeah, I'd say maintain 3,000. Traffic Skyline. Seven Charlie, you have departed 3 2 to the west. That's perfect. And if you want to uh, turn to a right heading of okay. 1. Okay, we're going to follow this. Yeah, you can fly the line. Okay. Um, and I'll put it on another screen so that it's. This is a cool. Oh, I'll find it. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's on this one. That's why. So we're going direct where? Concord. No, we're not going to Concord. I mean, I meant Portsmouth, sorry. It's actually really nice now. It's a little bumpy still, but it's not terrible. It's not bad. Now, where's my heading indicator here? Okay, it's right here. Ah, okay. You're going 127. All right, so I'm I'm just going to find uh, points on the ground here to help me maintain that track and, and fly that. How's it feel? Oh, I love it. Oh, we got some updrafts here, don't we? Yeah. Another um, nice screen is this screen right here, Alan. Yep. DTK means desired track, and that one here is the track that you're on. So, I found it very... Are you warm or cold? Oh, I'm fine. I'm. Mind I'm if I turn the heat off a little bit? Yep, that's cool. Just a little bit. Yep. Okay, oil pressure's good, oil temp's good, carb heat's not in the freeze. Boss approach, Skyline 3067 Yankee request. Uh, who has the request? Skylane 3067 Yankee. Image at 511, traffic 12 o'clock. One mile, or six miles, northbound, 2,900 indicated. I'm looking for traffic, QHF 511. Number 67 Yankee, say request. Hey, yeah, we'd like to uh, request flight following, please, for um, inbound for PSM. We are um, we're about 10 miles to the uh, southeast of Concord Airport at 3,000. I can't understand. 20 degrees to the left, Gamma Jeff 511. Gamma Jeff 511 is 1 o'clock, 4 miles northwest, 2500. Still looking, Gamma Jeff 511, your transmission is weak. Yeah, it's very weak. Number 678, block 5145. 5145, 053, contact approach on 125.05. 12505, Army 053. Number 67 Yankee, radar contact, Boston, altimeter 2977. 77. Number 67 Yankee, say your type. Uh, 182, Cessna 182. Roger. Damage of 511 traffic, snow factor, procedure at Bedford, contact approach 124.4. One to four point four direct destination, Gamma Jet five left. Number six seven Yankee, contact approach one two five point zero five. One two five oh five six seven Yankee. Let's approach Skyway three zero six seven Yankee with you level three thousand. Three zero six seven Yankee boss. Well, it's bumpy today. It certainly is.
Oh. Seven. Weather warning. Strong winds forecast value three five knots. Three. Associated with thunderstorms. Expect visual approach runway three four. Uh, Departing runway three four. Hazardous weather information. Uh, say again, sorry. Number three zero six seven Yankee contact Portsmouth Tower one two eight point four. Good day. One two eight point four to tower. Portsmouth Tower, Skyline three zero six seven Yankee uh, with you two thousand eight hundred uh, for three thousand. We just get a couple hundred feet back. Yep. November 3067, uh, Yankee Portsmouth Tower. Uh, good morning, St. Intensive. No, we're actually just getting the ATIS right now, and uh, we're going to figure out our intentions after we hear the winds. Wind right now, 30015, gust 19 or for November 67, Yankee. Uh, maybe we'll just come in for a low approach and then continue along up to uh, Laconia, please. Number 67, Yankee, uh, report when you have information, Quebec, you can enter a left downwind runway 34. Report midfield downwind, you can expect a low approach at about 600 due to men equipment on the runway. 34, line up away. approach, the uh, line elevation of the field is 100, 100 feet. Pattern altitude is 1,100 feet. We've been... Okay, am I headed directly towards the center of yep. the airfield? That's exactly right, yep. Got the field left so downwind. for a left downwind? Yep. Got it. So we can basically descend into pattern altitude of 1,100 feet. Okay. Now the only thing is I don't have airspeed indication over here. Yeah, you don't. It's right here. Yep. You both. Seven two nine or five. Same ten. After we get the uh, departure in here, we're going to go to the uh, northwest. That's be it. Negative EPR. Helicopter is seven two Kirshen seven two two nine or five. What altitude you climb into? We'll climb back up to two thousand. Seven two two nine five. Up to 205, Roger. I do have traffic inbound from the northwest, uh, descending right. out of 2300, entering the downwind. All the engine gauges, so we're good. Our traffic is. That's like 2875, runway 341310. Forecast 49 are clear for takeoff. We're going to pick up three forecast 2875. Solar head temps are good. After 72295, the traffic's ahead and to your uh, left, uh, approximately 10 o'clock and three miles, descending out of 2100. Six seven Yankee traffic ten o'clock three miles north northwest bound uh, a helicopter one thousand two hundred climbing at two thousand. Uh, negative contact looking for traffic. Eleven hundred feet uh, downwind, correct? I don't see him at all. For a car seven two two nine five, we'll make it. I start turning uh, seven two two nine five. Understand you have the traffic downwind. inside. Thank you. Four six seven Yankee, the uh, guard helicopter is ten o'clock and two miles northwest bound, leaving one thousand seven hundred. As you insert. Uh Roger, we're still negative contact. Looking. Four six seven Yankee, the uh, helicopter is now one thousand nine hundred, climbing no longer. Effect. Uh, we have the traffic in sight. Thank you. Tower Skyline 67 Yankee, uh, approaching midfield, uh, downwind, left downwind, runway 34. 67 Yankee, report base. Report base, 67 Yankee. Got flight 2875, contact Boston, departure of good flight. Contact departure, now 2875. Okay. Gumps gas. We're on the tank that we want. Mixture, full rich. Prop full forward. Our information, Romeo, current altimeter 2971, the wind's 30015, gust 20. Okay. All right, you can start turning the base turn here. 67 Yankee, check wheels down, runway 34, wind 31015, gust 20, and cleared low approach. 67 Yankee, turning left base, runway 34, cleared low approach. Uh, 67 Yankee. 67 Yankee, check wheels down, and you're turning to set an Army citation uh, on a 10 mile ILS final. Uh, looking for traffic, um, we're fixed gear. Okay, I'm going to take the airplane. Do you have the airplane? 2295, we're clear to the northwest. Thanks for the help today. Guard copter 72295, figures change approved. Good day. Good day. I'm not using any flaps on this low approach because why? <laughs> yeah. Why bother?
Okay. Number 678, can you do a low approach at your discretion? I do not have men and equipment uh, working near the runway. Uh, Roger, low approach at our discretion. We're probably not going to go much lower than uh, six or 500. 67 Yankee, Roger. Peace Tower, Army 01053, we're inbound on ILS 34. Army 01053, Portsmouth Tower, report a three mile final runway 34 oh, and oh, understand oh, a full stop. We'll call three mile final lane. I don't see any real reason to go Army too low. We're at 600 here, 500. And we're going to go missed. Tower 67 Yankee, got missed. Number 67 Yankee, Roger, same thing. Uh, we'd like to continue direct on Laconia, please leave it Charlie India. 67 Yankee, uh, Roger, you can uh, turn to Laconia at your discretion, and you're going back to Boston for a flight following? Uh, Roger. Number 67 Yankee, Roger, you can contact Boston departure. Have a good flight. Over to departure, 67 Yankee, thanks for your help. Cruise climb, get this thing out of the uh, departure Skyline 3067 Yankee, climbing through 1200 for 3000. Uh, request flight following direct Laconia, Lima, Charlie, and Dia. And may I cut you out the other guy's going to Bird Ziggin? Uh, Skyline 3067 Yankee, uh, with you climbing through 1,400 to 3,000. Request flight following direct Laconia. Yes, Skyline 3067 Yankee, Boston the Bridge, uh, Roger. Squawk 5135 at IDEN. 5135 at IDEN. Skyline 3067 Yankee, we are contact over the Pease Airport. Boston Alpha, Dimitri 2977, proceed on course, Oregonia. 77, direct on course. Okay, once we get out of this airspace here, I'm going to give you the plane back. It's going to be your plane for as long as you want it. Okay, carpet out of the freeze. Engine instruments in the green, charging the batteries, good on fuel. Everything's working like it should. Cylinder head temps are good, EGTs are good. Fuel's on the right tank. We'll lean her out a little bit. All right, you have the airplane. I've got it. Going to 3,000? Yeah, I'd say 3,000. So where is Laconia visually ahead? Um, it's basically, see that, that cluster of mountains, the tallest of them? Yep, yep. It's just to the left of that. Okay. What kind of winds do we have at Laconia? Down the runway or crosswinds? Um, it's a 20 knot crosswind, runway 26, and the wind is 280 at 15. So what, 20 degrees off? 20 degrees off. That's not bad. Not bad. Catch one eight four, gun to the bridge control. One one eight point two five. Eight two five. Catch one four. Feel good? Yeah, I'm all right. You gonna land the Laconium? 
Yeah. Get her on the ground? Good. I think so. Yeah. Makes sense. Yep. Good intro for me today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're close to these bases here, obviously, and that's why we have all this turbulence, but... Well, I think if we were going anywhere, we'd go on top and it'd be smooth. Flash at 4 0 on the box. Talk after 2 9 5, time to diverge control. 124.9. guard 7 2 2 9 5. Flash at 4 0 1 3000. Flash at 4 0 1, pause for the barger. I then climb maintain 1 0 thousand. I'd end up to one zero ten thousand flex jet uh, four zero one. Well, that's good practice for me. You got to maintain altitude and heading, and oh yeah, absolutely. The, uh, I mean, it's it's been years. What's the last time you think you flew? Oh my God, years. I'd have to look at four zero one. We're not contacting three miles north of Bees Airport. Turn left, direct Concord to VOR. Direct Concord, flex jet four zero one. Position check. Look at my log book. I like the glass in here. This is nice. Yeah, there's a lot of I nice just I don't like having flight instruments in front of me though. You know when you're trying to when you're trying to this is a, a little bit more work than than normal. Of course, yeah. But I'm used to you know four zero one kind of Boston Center one two eight point I'm used to, used to the instrument scan and they're there. all over oh, there. Yeah. Right. Which is fine. You know, this is uh this is uh but just watching you in cockpit management here, with all this turbulence, I mean, it's uh, it's hands full. Oh yeah. For me, it's hands full. There's I mean, a lot. That, it just. Uh, it's a lot of work. Oh, is that the lake over there? That's one of Pasaki. Yep. Oh, okay. Gotcha. See, I've this is the first time I have been up around New Hampshire in an airplane. Oh, really? Yeah. No kidding. Oh, it's right, because you flew out west, right? In Oregon or Washington? Washington State. Washington yeah. State, yeah. yeah. And you know, when you get to know it, you get to know the terrain. You just kind of know visually where you're going. Where, exactly. Yeah, it might be best to get on the ground before a snowstorm comes through. or. Yeah, we'll get on the ground and call this a good day and... Wow. <laughs> yep. Five hundred five hundred down draft to a five hundred up draft. You still have flight following? I do. Yep. We're gonna oh, I've got a I've got a heading indicator up here too. I didn't see that. That's just your magnetic compass, uh, though, and so that's going to be. Six seventy eight KV Laconia Airport is at your two o'clock and uh, one five miles. Red seven seven eight square. We have fine. You can change your advisory. All right. Uh, we uh, are heading in the direction of the airport. Two o'clock VFR. Thanks for your help today. Six seven eight. This is a hell of an introduction back to flying, Josh. I know, man. I didn't anticipate this today. This was a lot windier than I expected. See that weather off the nose? Yep. Laconia Municipal Airport. Automatic observation. One. Altitude. Four. Zulu. Wind. Three. Zero. Zero. At. One. Two. Peak gust. Two. Four. Visibility one zero. Sky condition. Wind is three zero zero on runway two six.
It's the kind of weather we got caught in in Germany when we crashed. It looked like that all the way around us. You, you crashed? Yeah. Well, the traffic, 579 Bravo Whiskey is directly over the airport at 3,000 feet tracking the localizer to the northeast. The kind of weather we were flying in, we got caught in it, although it was so solid IFR on top. Wow. And, it all, and that all closed in around us, 360 degrees, similar terrain. Wow. Couldn't couldn't find a, a little valley or a, a hole to sneak through. Forced, huh. forced us right on down. That's crazy. You know, I get seasick and I get motion sickness, but I've in a little airplane like this, you think I'd... Be puking would, your brains out. This would be bothering me, but it doesn't, and I have no idea why. You were made for this stuff. I was built for this. Built for speed. Of course, it's a lot different when you're involved in it. Oh, yeah. You know, when you're actually... When you're flying it. You know? If you were in the back seat, you'd probably be barfing your brains I out. I don't ride in the back seat. I don't either. Although I have ridden in the back seat when my brother was getting a little instruction. I'm going to take the flight controls if you don't mind. I don't mind. You got it. Okay. I have the flight controls. No. Actually, can you take the flight controls back for just a second, I please? I can. You have it? I've got it. Okay. I'm taking the iPad off the yoke. Make it a little easier for me to... Uh, Taking the iPad off the yoke. Get out of here. <laughs> what about uh, you turn the coffee pot off too? <laughs> and, uh, Put that back in here. And that's something I wanted to look at is all the the electronics in here. But another time, I you know today is a yeah today, today is, is a... you got your hands full kind of day. But good. I mean, I'm not. I'm no complaints. This is. Uh, all right. I want to take the flight controls, please. Okay, you got it. I got it. Timer expired. Okay. So we'll do our initial approach gumps check. We're going to put the fuel back on both tanks. Point the airport out to me. Um, it's still nestled, so we can't see okay. it quite yet. Okay. I'm going to start descending now. We got some snow. We're going right into it, which isn't a big deal, but trim this airplane for a stable I, I could see, you know, something like this coming over Laconia and we wouldn't be landing there. That's a fact. You got to get that little 360 camera hooked up behind us, behind you and the whoever you're flying with. This would be great to be able to share this right here, you know, from a pilot's uh, perspective. Oh, yeah. Laconia Drive, Skyline 3067 Yankee, 7 to the southwest, inbound, uh, left pattern entry, uh, full stop, landing, runway 26, Laconia traffic. No tower at Laconia, correct? Correct. Well, I should know that. Now, have you been in this kind of turbulence in this? Yeah. Quite a bit. This, uh, the winds here are, uh... Five. Peak gusts. Two. Four. Visibility. One. Zero. Sky... Okay. So I like to keep checking the winds to make sure that we have the most recent information. Pattern altitude here is one six hundred. And when we get into the pattern, I request a uh, sterile cockpit just so we only flight, only, uh, co communication necessary for... Um, operating the airplane. I tend to talk out loud, so don't... No, I will... Uh, I am out of your way. No, you're not... I mean, uh, but if you need to speak up for, no, any, I, I, for uh, the purposes of running the plane, please. No, no. I, There's uh, always two eyes better than one, as I see it. Now, you uh, keep your airspeed a little higher on this kind of... This kind of an approach, I'm going to keep it nice and hot. And with, uh, what, 10 degrees flaps? I'm not putting any flaps in, I don't think. Until, oh, really? Until I get nice and low and I'm not going to get dumped around, I don't want to lose air airspeed in a gust and yep, stall. Yep, yep, yep. I don't want you to do that. Nope. Gust of traffic, be advised. Skyhawk 636 Sierra Alpha is just about 12 miles to the southwest. We'll be passing to the uh, western side of the airspace, south to the north, level 3,500 Augusta. Coney Traffic Skyline 3067 Yankee, 5 to the southwest, inbound, uh, left pattern entry, full stop, runway 26, Laconi Traffic.
They forecasted uh, snow and weather to the north, and uh, from the looks of this, they're right. They're right. Yep. Look at this. This is insane. Look at the crab angle we got. And airport yet? Airport's right there. See the field? It's just kind of that big white oh, yes, area. I do. This is uh, six miles to the northwest. 45 entry for left. Altimeter, three, two, niner, seven, one. I need to dump a thousand feet, and I'll do that now. Okay. So, gas is on both. Mixture. I'm going to go full rich. You got room in there? Undercarriage down and lock. Prop full forward. Cal flaps are going to be closed. We don't shot cool the engine. Stabilized descent, 500 feet per minute. Seat belts. How's your harnesses? Good. Okay, pattern altitude 1600. Laconia traffic skyline 3067 Yankee entering a 45 degree left downwind for runway 26 Laconia full stop. Okay. Engine instruments are in the green. Carb heat is out of the freeze. We're charging the batteries. We have plenty of fuel. I'm going to get a last check. Laconia Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. One, six, three, two, Zulu. Wind, two, niner, zero. At, one, two, peak gusts, two, four. That's one of those peak gusts. What's the runway heading? Two, six. And what was the wind? Three, uh, two nine. 30, knot cro 30 degree cross. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Okay, so I'm shutting up. I'm out of your way here. Okay. Runway. Clay traffic skyline three zero six seven Yankee turning left base runway two six Laconia full stop. Plenty of airspeed. Coney traffic, Skyline 3067 Yankee, short final, 26 will Coney traffic. I'm going to put a little flappage in because we have a lot of altitude and a lot of airspeed. And I'm going to put carb heat on. More flaps. Flaps. All power is out. Wow, all things considered, I am perfectly happy with that landing. I have to go to the bathroom. I'll bring you over to the terminal oh, I'm immediately. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. So the wind is from the right. Cor ah, okay. I'm good job, Josh. That's a good job. And it's different with a gusty wind versus a con a um, consistent wind. A consistent wind, you can find a consistent attitude for landing. You know, put it down in one wheel without issue. Right. Laconia traffic, Skyline 3067 Yankee, clear of all runways, Laconia traffic.
And you kept a, you kept the weight of the aircraft on the main gear. That's good. Instead of letting that nose wheel come down early. Yeah. Good first outing for me. Yeah, I'm glad you came. 